Oh god, jeez. Okay, so I figured out the first problem with this chair. We'll have to work with it. Hello everybody and welcome to the first official Jurassic World Dominion unboxing, which, oh my god. You may notice there's been a little bit of a redesign to the back wall. It's no longer just this metal frame here, which realistically you couldn't really see anything on it because my head was kind of a little big and in the way. But now we got m more shelves. I will have to update some stuff. For example, I've got a sign here that's going up there. But today, we've got something special for you. And what better to start off with than a T-Rex? Because we're Rexy's Game Bro. We love ourselves a T-Rex. So we are going to be doing the one, the only. Let me just, let me just grab it. Ugh, there we go. It is the one and only da, 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 the Thrash and Devour T-Rex. Good thing it's on the back. Oh, oh, it's scraping against. Let's try not to slide around. The Thrash and Devour Tyrannosaurus Rex. The Dominion one, at least the first one apart from the Super Colossal, which no, I do not have. Which, gotta say, I'll... Oh, God, why is it just this corner? This corner just keeps on scratching. Ugh, stop it. So, one thing that I will praise instantly is the color scheme, because we'll actually compare it to the other T-Rex, which you probably can see at the top there. But one thing I can definitely say is the color scheme is much better on this one than any. They've all been the same orangish brown or beige brown, but always, like, not really detailed, I gotta say, unfortunately. This one, on the other hand, is much more like Rexy when it comes to the sculpt and even the color scheme. And I gotta praise this artwork, actually, which Mattel have definitely done hundreds times better with their toys and even the box art. Like, Fallen Kingdom was awesome with the volcano in the background. This one is much more different, but I will actually say the interesting thing about this box art is there's actually different versions of it. For example, You'll get to see it in close-ups a lot better, but you actually get the T-Rex in all of them, Rexy herself. But the background shows this beautiful forested look with um, a vehicle, I'm pretty sure. Oh, God. Okay, I'm just going to try and lift it. Yeah, there's a vehicle. I believe it's a police vehicle that's always chasing the T-Rex in this box art. However, there's other versions. I've seen some with a helicopter as well. Some that actually show like the forest in the background on fire, which don't have any ones with that, unfortunately. But it's awesome bar uh, bar Bart box art. Sorry, I can't speak today. And it shows on the front and also the back, which we'll be looking at all sides. The front of the box shows the action features, which is the button right here, which just goes... Ooh. Okay, so first things that's interesting about the toy is it doesn't have the just single roar that like all other T-Rex. It has like a chomp sound effect, then followed by a roar, which actually is really nice. It also has an ability when you shake the tail from side to side. I can't really do it in the box because it keeps hitting on the cardboard, so it's not actually going to do it. But it makes a shaking sound effect, which I assume has to do with the massive um, mouth on this guy, because trust me, this guy's mouth is crazy. But before we take him out, we're going to look at the back of the box. Oh, oh, I didn't notice that. Okay, before we get to the back of the box, I will say that on this box art, there is a render of the Pyroraptor, which is interesting. Does it have anything else on the other side? Nope, just the Dominion logo. Okay, so you get a Pyroraptor on the side, which is interesting. I don't know if the other ones have it. I'll probably have to check when I do those unboxings. But now we are going to look at the back of the box. And I have to lift this up because I am not having that screech because, well, it's not... Oh, well, okay, so you don't scrape when you're for when you're backwards, but when you're forward, T-Rex, you just have to go screech, screech, screech. Jesus, so picky cardboard can be these days. But as we can see, another render, which I gotta say, I do wish they did like the way they do with older toys. Like back when Jurassic Park was coming out, I've seen box arts for that where the Kenner toys, they would have the toy, not as like a render, like a digital render. It would just be the toy with other toys showing in the background, just like what you could do. Like it would show, like I remember there was the Red Rex, the box art showed it like just simply standing there with some one in its mouth and cars and stuff around it with some 
plastic trees and stuff, and it was beautiful box art. We've gotten close with some, like the sauropod box arts, but we never get it with these, unfortunately, and I wish that the front of the box for the art was on the back as well, but for the toy instead. But moving on to that, uh, sorry, moving on. So we get to see um, the sort of action features of it, including the Moros Intrepidus, which kind of weird that they picked the Moros Intrepidus for this box art because these gu those guys are related. They're both Tyrannosaurs, so kind of a little rude, Miss T-Rex. But you can see all the action features, including its ability to swallow, which actually, how does it say? So it's like chomp, devour. Should be called the chomp and devour. Oh yeah, it's the thrash and devour. So yeah, because it actually shows in a little render that it's actually shaking its head, which is the second ability for it. Now, one thing that's a little downside for this is actually the legs, because if we just turn them around, there it is. See, I'm turning you around to the front and you're doing it again. The legs, unfortunately, on this one are not like the original. That was not the original, like the previous one we unboxed, like eight months ago. Good God, that was ages ago. But unfortunately, it's just the regular stiff legs. I would have liked if they took that feature for it because no longer does it have a stomping feature, I think. But I think we've done enough with it in the box. So let's take it out of the box. Cut one, cut two, I think, yep, aha! Okay, he's a little loud, I see. I guess, well, not he, she. Now, now you know what we do with the box art. We just drop it. And I don't know what this is, it's just some paper. We'll put that with that. Put the scissors away over here. And we, let's just, calm down, sweetie. And let's just fix your feet. Yeah, 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 your feet are, ooh, these are really stiff. And there we go. Feet are fixed, and we now have released the Thrash and Devour Tyrannosaurus Rex. And my god, the sculpt on this one, like, when I first saw this, I thought it was basic, I thought it was the same one as the original because it had these cuts, but no, it's just for the shake. Now, because we have him out of the box, we can do the shake first, so as you can, Okay, it's a little loud, but as you could see, the way it did was you just twist the, t turn the tail side to side and it would shake. Oh, we got, oh, nope. Oh yeah, it is a little bit rubber on the end. And also the biting feature, which, hmm, much more clearer than that one actually. And you may notice something strange about him when you buy him. It's that he has a very, very big neck, well, head and neck like wide which kind of looks a little bit goofy i'm not gonna lie but i actually really like it for one reason it reminds me of the jurassic park animatronic t-rex because the difference between the cgi model and the animatronic well the biggest was the head the head on the cgi was thin like most of the other mattel ones but this one is more like the animatronic, where its head was more boxy and bulky, which I absolutely love. I love the animatronic so much, and I'm so glad. Now, also, I gotta say, he's got a lot more scars on him than I remember. Like, he's got the raptor ones, he's also got some on his, um, some on his back, also some right on his chest above his arm here. What about the other? Calm down. He's got some on his face, and also... Ooh, the teeth. Oh, ooh, wow. Also, so the teeth are a rubbery, similar to the other ones, but much more stiff than the others. Those ones I thought were going to completely fall off. And speaking of the other T-Rex, let's get him down to compare him, which, uh, gotta get out of this chair again. If we need, why have one T-Rex, guys? You can have two. Jeez. Oh, oh, God. Okay, I gotta move this forward. There we go. So, First things first is this one's actually taller, which I think it's because this one's not like standing up because it's supposed to actually be like here. So realistically it would be the same height, but because it's like had some wear, even though I don't really use these, if this is a kid, it should, it would be a lot more, which is a little unfortunate. Now also are the legs movable? Okay. So it's not the... Okay, so yeah, the legs are movable. Oh, also, biggest difference between these 
well, these toys and these ones is the scan code. Usually they would always be on the foot, like right over here. Now you have a little thing which, I don't know how I like it too much, but you just pull it out and you get the DNA code. I'm pretty sure this is for Primal Ops, the new um sort of app game. I think it is. Okay, shush, shush, shush. I'm trying to review you, which I do actually like that it has the Jurassic World logo on it. Does it have it on its foot still? Yeah, it does. Well, you got two logos actually. And only thing I will say for a downside for the paint job is his, unlike this one, his fingernails are not painted. That's a little bit of a disappointment here. But I gotta say the button on this guy is much better than this one because this one would do this. But because the button's like strangely positioned, you have to push more on the front. And like the Legacy Spinosaurus that came out in 2018, I believe it was, like at the end of 2018, it has this issue where like sometimes if like it's really stiff, like when I first unboxed it, I had this problem, but it's when I pushed, it slipped down and catches your finger. This one, on the other hand, it does not have that problem. Now, how many versions does he have? Like, here's the first one. Okay, so that one's just a chomp feature with sort of a little swallowing sound effect, which we'll need actually a character or something for that. Next one. Okay, so the chomp and swallow with a roar. And a full-on roar. Okay, that's four. Five. Oh my god, this got multiple. Okay, I think that... Okay, it's for sure five at least, but damn. This guy's got a lot more roars. And I gotta say, the best thing about this guy is definitely his eyes. They are much more vibrant on the yellow and actually really well done. This guy had a little bit of um, a paint splodge on his eye on the other side, but this guy looks really good. I will... St say that for all the t-rex they've done this is the best for one it actually looks like rexy like these all have had the wrong paint jobs like fun fact or not really fun the reason why i originally bought this one was because in the promotional images and also on the mattel website and even amazon where i did buy it this showed to be dark like this like it was darker than this one at least in the image so i was thinking oh we're finally getting a not um, just beige brown T-Rex. But unfortunately, as you can see, it's this. I do like the sort of pattern look, even though it's not like Rexy's pattern. This one is much better for that. Only thing that's interesting is the dark brown still doesn't go on the tail, which I still don't know why they do that. But when it comes to T-Rex toys for Mattel, this is the one to get. It's got awesome features and one more thing, we actually need a character. I don't have any, like, human characters because I haven't bought any. But, uh, let's borrow this poor Lego guy uh, with some amber. Now, if you open the mouth... Yes, yes, if I open... Calm down. Holy jeez, that's deeper than I thought. That sounded wrong. That sounded weird. But there's actually the reason why his mouth is so wide is because of this swallowing mechanic, which allows you to put stuff into his mouth. So, for example, if we chomp, oh god, jeez, oh there goes him. Well, chomp, oh god. I'm not getting up to get him. He just sent that guy flying. I don't know if the camera even caught it. He just went hey, yo. <laughs> but uh, uh, dark. Darth, no, actually, we can, we're not using Darth Vader. Oh, God, I'm dropping things. It's all going to hell. Uh, aha, I got you. We, Snap Squad figure. Uh, which one's this? It's supposed to be Delta, but it looks like Echo. Anyway, so, we'll try this again. Okay, that shaking feature is a little too, um, sensitive, but... Yeah, like, I love how big the mouth is. Like, it feels T-Rex. Like, you could literally get the shot from, like, the movie if you get an Alan Grant figure, and it just roaring. This feels like that scene. The head is just perfect size. Even though it does look goofy with its mouth closed, 
I'm fine with that. But let's see you get swallowed whole. Oh, right in the head. Oh, poor Delta. Ready? And please don't drop. Oh. You were so close, Rexy. So close. Don't worry. We'll feed you right by the tail. You know, you don't need to scream at me to feed you. Also, wow, actually, I love the tongue feature. Like, it actually shows a bit of 3D look to it a lot more. Ugh. It actually looks so weird, actually, but I like it. All right. I'm sorry, Echo slash Delta, whichever one you actually are. I don't remember. But you have to go. I'm sorry. Enjoy the, s enjoy the ride. Oh. oh, wow. It actually swallows him whole. And as you can see, if we put him down, there is no witness to him being actually eaten, which kind of... Wow. Jeez, that's actually cool. Now... Well, yeah, you did him. He just, I just opened the mouth just to let him out, but just, he just went, Bleh. Let's do that again. Now swallow your food. Oh. Okay, so he is very, he's very loud, much more louder than this one, but I just love that. Ready? Prepare to spit him out. Bleh. Now let's try that one more time. Oh, get, get, get. All right, now for the final one before we go, ready and release me. <laughs> he just slides out. He's just like, wait, wait, let's put him in this way. So he's like diving out instead. He's like, get me out of here. Oh, I don't know if he'll be able to close his mouth with. Oh, no, he does. Okay. Ready? <laughs> oh, my God. I'm going to have so much fun just swallow. Ready? One more time, and then we're going to end this. Nope, nope, nope. A little more. Oh, oh, he's got the head. Oh, come on. No! Oh! Okay, well, I'm going to leave it there, guys. This is probably the best T-Rex we've got. Leave the comments for anyone here who does have this T-Rex. What do you think about it? What are your positives and negatives? And also, I will say, if you ever want a T-Rex, if you haven't gotten any T-Rex up to this point since Mattel started, get this one. Don't even bother with the Super Colossal because, like, it's way too big, really. But this guy, he's a decent price, actually. I probably put it up somewhere in, like, the screen. Somewhere around here, it's, it's somewhere here. But anyway guys this is the t-rex you want like it's got the awesome feature as you could see i'm swallowing you whole can you even fit my fit how much of my hand could he fit? okay he can fit most of my hand in when you um go all the way back which it goes up to here i think yeah it goes up to here which is which actually i really do actually like how big this neck is it would be really good for the bull t-rex just have to sort of shrink the sculpt of the head to be more of the bull rex but this neck is perfect for that but anyway guys i'm gonna leave it there if you've enjoyed this first unboxing oh god hiccups are back no i hope you enjoyed this video guys let's try that again and we have so much more on we've got the legos we've got therizinosaurus which also little confession i kind of had to buy these for that unboxing because you know just cool but anyway, guys, until the next unboxing, whether it's Lego or a toy or even a freaking egg, I don't know. Until then, guys, be safe. And if you've enjoyed this video, leave a like. And hopefully we can reach 3,000 subscribers before the end of the month. We are almost there. Just 200 more to go. Hopefully we can do it by the end of the month. And then maybe for when Dominion releases, we can reach almost 5,000. 500 no 5,000 subscribers let's try and make that the goal and until next time guys be safe and i'll see you later bye bye Yo! oh